live and direct. I feel naked. You've rushed me in. That's right. I fucking rushed you in. Man's rushed got shit on in. the plate. I'm in a new. I'm in a new headspace. We're positive God now. Damn. Delete the last twelve episodes. It's a new God me. Damn. What was it you said to me when we first came in? Get upstairs. You're not staying long. <laughs> like I said it's in and out, then you're in a cab. Felt like one of your seedy women that you meet. There's many of them. There are many of them. How are you, bro? I'm all right, sir. Yourself? Hmm. I feel like I've had the best sleep I had in about 26 years the other night. Really? Yeah. I left you hanging. You left me hanging. I High and dry. High and dry. I, t- I said to Jordan, I'll pick him you, up. You had, you had eight missed calls for me, mainly because I finished a bit early and I thought, right, I'm going to catch this tube and I doubt you're coming. Ah. And I'm calling and calling just to make sure you're not on the way. And I, I even, I even went into the tube. Oh, that's less bad than you're like waiting outside for me. Oh yeah, no, no. But I didn't, because I knew you said you weren't sure. So once it, mm. once it got to a certain point, I knew you weren't coming. But I went into the tube, and there was like 12 minutes till my train. So I then came back upstairs and tried Ooh. calling you another couple so times. So I caused you a bit of bother. No, no, no. Because I knew I was gonna make that train. I you just, just wanted to want make sure to, you yeah. weren't driving down. Do you know what it was? It got to like, I had like a bath. I got into bed at like half nine. Yeah, and you know, for me, that's fucking early. I'm like, oh, it's like the more fucking eight year old pensioner. The more I like, the more I like sink in. I'm just like, this ain't gonna happen, man. But then, Joe, I'll, I will confess one thing. I did see your phone calls. Like every time you rang me, I would like, wow. I would like come in of like out of this deep sleep. Wow. So I'd be like, Jordan. So and I'd like, be like, and then this is what I did the first so time. Like eight in a row, yeah. It no, see, like, I didn't whoa, wake up for all eight. Whoa. I probably woke up for like two. Wow. So I'd like see it, and then I'd be like, what the hell is that? So double decker. That's a hench chocolate bar. Oh, um, double dick. Yeah, I'd wake up and I'd like see your name and I'd be like, oh, I'm just gonna slide down under the pillow, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then like again, I was like, and then in my head, I swear to God, I thought in my head, I was like, he's telling me not to come. Like what you just said, I thought. Because well, I was we like, we are in sync. Because I knew that you wouldn't ring me that many times. God, I wish to I be was like, getting raped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Help! I, <laughs> I knew that you wouldn't call me that many times if you wanted a lift. I knew that it would be like, oh. I'm f- like don't, don't worry in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's my excuse. Yeah. You get me in it. You get me. Yeah, man. Well, yeah, how you been, pal? How you been? Well, yeah. Then I slept for like fucking ten straight hours. I woke up at six in the morning and I felt fresh as a daisy, man. And you've been up since then, yeah. Pretty well. Doing what? So I woke up at. You ignored me this morning again. <laughs> no, my phone was. You rang me at two. Oh, you rang me at two. Yeah, that's when I wake up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you didn't ring me. I was gonna like say you this morning. Bad man. I woke up at six. I was up till about. I'd say about 10. Then I had a nap. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. And I woke up at nice. probably about, I don't even know what time. One, maybe? Two? One or two? Oh, you but did my phone had died. Nap, yeah. My phone had died. Um, I wasn't actually ignoring you. Yeah, no, I know because the phone wasn't. It, the phone was ringing. It was Facebook, Shit. innit? Facebook just like made my laptop was open or something. Oh yeah, true. Look, like, I've been avoiding you, right? I know. Get the fucking I message, know. Right? I know. But God. I like to call you. This is like when Brendan and uh, what does his face have their um, what's the other guy's name? Brian. Brian. And um, they did the lie detector test. Have you ever lied to me <laughs> while you were in traffic? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like when you see that guy that you don't really like, it's like, bro, I've rang you like eight times. Like, where have you been? It's like, well, you get the message, bro. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I get the message. <laughs> I I certainly get the message. I just would like to make it as uncomfortable <laughs> no, for you as possible. I wasn't ignoring <laughs> you though. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, my phone died. And I fell oh asleep. yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no. I definitely received at nine o'clock. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dickhead. How'd you enjoy your weekend? You came out, bro. Amazing, amazing. Jordan came out on the lash with the lads. Woo! How did you enjoy it? I didn't. I feel like I didn't see that much. No, the because place. the place is massive and it's. Full of cretins, and you can't really see. It was see very anyone. full. It was very full. Yeah, it was pretty damn full. Did um, how did you enjoy it? It was a lot. It was a lot. You know what? The fact of the matter is, though, it ain't worth feeling shit the whole next day. I felt like. Did you feel like death? Death all day. I mean, I did have a double. I did work like twelve hours straight afterwards. Yeah, I didn't know that, man. I wouldn't have pressured you to come out if that was the case. That was there was your excuse if you didn't want to come out. I've got. Freaking 12-hour shift tomorrow. Yeah, I know, but, if, but you know, it's my boy. It's my boy. I don't really do that for anyone else. Well, it was a birthday, right? So. Yeah, but even I don't do that for anyone else's birthday because, A, either they don't care about their birthday that much, so it's like, all right, well, if you don't yeah. care, then I don't care. Well, I feel like on my birthday, we'll usually do something separate. Like, you'll be like, oh, let's go and, like, eat. 
and then we'll go yeah, and, then yeah. you, and then you'll be like, oh, I don't want to come to the bullshit after. Well, to be honest, with most people, I wouldn't do the night out, especially if they were going to have a chilled thing with a couple mates. But Ryan tends to just have the night out. Ryan loves a night out. He likes a night out. So I'm not, I wasn't, night out. Night we weren't going to have a meal or something. So there wasn't going to be another opportunity for me to celebrate with him. Yeah. You know what I mean? I get that. Like Dale, a couple of times he had a night out, but he also had a couple of boys just chilling around here with a little do. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm putting people's names out there where they don't want it. Yeah, you're a little rascal. I can't help it. Look, I'm a man of truth. Man of Bare truth. people at the club the other night were just kept telling me, you're you're so real, man. God. You're so real. Weird. weird. No, Bring me like, in. Yes, we're I so am real. real. Because you're an ant, I'm an ant, nothing matters. Yes. And they're like, wow, you just preach truth. <laughs> I love new positive Jordan. You're like, an ant, I'm an ant, I, and nothing matters. I like drunk people. They just listen to you sometimes. God, they do. They're like, oh my God. I had some weird encounters in there. Yeah? Yeah, just like yeah, the, strangers like chatting to me. What is it with drunk people? They and love to, to chat. Strangers, but, but I'm drunk and I'm not like going over to you. Know like, oh, I mean? oh, hi, I'd, mate. You're I'll right. make facial expressions at strangers, but I won't talk to them. I'll be like, there was one girl. You might not remember this. There was one girl. She was like a, how can I put a larger sized lady? Um, wasn't missing any meals. I believe there's a word for that. Um, fat. Oh God, Sorry. controversial. Sorry. God. Sorry. New, new positive Jordan Israel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and you hey like man, you, I'm a fat you, shamer. you like <laughs> walked past her and you like met in the middle. And obviously, being a bigger lady, she like couldn't you couldn't get past each other. Right, like you when you went behind her, you went missing. I was like Jordan, and she t- I'd go she missing when I side. turned to the side, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but then she like you walked past, you you like politely like sort of ushered her past you. So like you turned to the side and was like after you. Mm. She carries a walk it and then pulls this like face at you like as if like how dare you? I was like. Ah, okay. uh, yeah. And, and then, remember I said to was like, Jesus, Yeah, that's when man. I got the little screwdriver out of my pocket and stabbed her in the throat 12 times. Yeah. You want this? <laughs> God, she was so rude. I was like, Bleed, Jesus. bitch. Bleed. Fat people think they have like a, a right to more space. They don't. They yeah, have a right to less air. And also like on planes. like You know, you get next to a fat dude. And he's taking up like your seat, half of the other seat. I don't want us to get seat. into fat people because I'm going to say something very inappropriate. Yeah. I hate them. I don't hate them. Oh, I hate them. They're good people. <laughs> <laughs> nah, come on, man. Nah, I don't hate you, innit? But it's your fault. Yeah. I was saying the other day, I was talking to someone about it. So I was like, it's weird that like, f- like Fabio, it seems to be that one thing. And I said, especially with like women, it's a I'm very sensitive. What we talk about as we go it's for a the very final bit. Fat people. It's a very <laughs> sensitive topic. Do you not think? What, fatness? Yeah. And but then but then skinny people that's not a sensitive topic supposedly, no, supposedly no, but nothing they can else just come is out to that level say, like you you could this like, is just an age say like argument. technically yeah like a fat person who's I'm talking like morbidly obese who carries on eating eating is killing themselves yeah mm. it would be rude if I went up to them and be like look you're huge you're killing yourself because you keep eating food but it wouldn't be rude if I if I went smoke was like oh how many do you smoke twenty a day Jesus man you just thought, that wouldn't be rude yeah it's weird isn't it and like people say someone says I'm sure someone said you oh you're skinny. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Oh, you're small, something like that. That's not People rude. say that to me at work all the time. They're like, yeah. there's nothing of you. You need to eat. Yeah. Whereas if you went up but to a fat, fat person yeah. and go, whoa, there's so much of you. You need to eat less. That would be that so would be, rude. Everyone would yeah. be like, oh my God. Whoa, you can't say that, bro. Why is that? That's weird. Because the world's stupid. I'll say that. You wouldn't go up to a girl and say that. No, I wouldn't say. I don't have the need to say that to someone. But I'm saying if they said it to me, then I, it's like, it, bro. I've, I don't think you'd say it to a girl. If a girl said to you, like, oh, God, Jordan, you're so tiny, you wouldn't be like, well, you're fat. I don't think Not if she wasn't fat. No, I mean... Happy birthday, boy. I mean, if she was fat, you wouldn't say that. Yeah, probably not. I don't know. I mean, on the other hand, yeah... You could say it more to a dude. You'd say it to a fat guy. Yeah, to a dude, I probably would. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, All right, fatty, like... There was once at the pub where some guy, he said something to me, and I just didn't hear him properly. I probably was high, don't get me wrong, like... And he was like, oh, fucking stone, I can't never fucking pay attention, you don't know what's going on. I flipped out of this guy though. And it's, it's a similar, it's, it, like how people in a pub, obviously because they're drinkers, they think it's okay to take the piss out of stoners, but then they don't expect it to come back. So I just went on a tire, just like, you are a dirty fucking alcoholic, mate. You're in it every fucking Why day. Why do people come Your back to the pub? Your face is purple, bruv. Yeah. yeah. Don't chat shit to me. But then I went over and like hugged him and apologized to him because he felt bad, bad. It's just weird that like fatness is such a, a taboo. Sensitive subject. But then it's like the fat kid who wears his t-shirt in the, pool on holiday and it's like bro if you just took that shirt off it's less weird man like like you're drawing attention to yourself 
Yeah, well, you know what? A lot of the time it's to do with the fact that fat people are much more insecure about being fat than skinny people are about being skinny. So... Yeah, and also it's like... You know, we only care about skinniness because we started going to the gym and suddenly it's like, oh, skinny's such a bad word now. But it's not. See, I don't you know get that I mean? anymore since I got a bit bigger. But when I was a kid, especially like, like 13, 14, people used to be like, oh, there's nothing. Same shit, there's nothing yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More fat on a pigeon's fucking leg, all that shit. And I never used to care. Like, like yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like, yeah, That's yeah, what I mean. If you're not insecure, I never cared about it until like we started going to gym and suddenly when people call you skinny, you're like, hey man, I made gains, bro. Yeah. It's his birthday. It it's is birthday. his birthday. Birthday this boy. This isn't a song. Birthday boy. It's get him on the birthday mic. Birthday boy. Get Come on the, the mic. mic, blood. Get on the mic, fam. Get him on the mic. Get on the mic. Come show ah, my, my seat. Toes well, in that get area. out of the way, bro. Get out of my seat. Share my seat. Share my seat. Bring him in, man. Come here, birthday boy. Birthday boy. 15 years old, man. You're his me. voice just broke. Did you wake up then? You're like, yo. Oh, you came in here and farted straight oh, away. Jesus. You came in here Get with out. butt gas. Get out. You came in here and just allowed little Ugh. sludgy shit molecules to escape your sphincter and occupy my nasal passage. Disgusting. Oh, yeah. Have you seen the new team of the year? Have I seen the new team of the year? I, I feel like you're talking about FIFA here. Yeah. No, I do. I have not. I have not. No. Have they, released, have they released Who's the whole thing? the team of the year? Can you come into the microphone? Because I don't yeah, let the, the fans want to hear you. Unless yeah. you're in the mic. Um, the top, there's only the three attackers today. Let me guess. Let me guess before you tell me. You've got to be in the mic. Guess. Yeah. All right. Have they c- counted Ronaldo as attacker? Yes. Okay, Ronaldo? Yes. What's his rating? <laughs> what rating? 99. Correct. How much is he? Don't know yet. Am I going to sell my whole team and buy Ronaldo? Oh my God, I can't. I just bought Henri. 93. Yeah. Nice. All right, next one. Not nice. Tied up money. Next player. Next. Is, there th- uh, is Messi a counter striker? Uh, attacker, yes. Messi. Well done, Messi. Um, so 99 Ronaldo, 98 Messi. Well done. And striker. Uh, left wing Ronaldo, right wing Messi, and striker. Suarez. That is incorrect. No, nah, not Suarez. They uh, changed it up this year. Better not be Kane. It's Kane, 96 rated. Jesus. 86 pace, 99 shooting, 96 physical. There you go, fans. Spurs will be happy. 96 Kane. 96 Kane, huh? Can he... What's his speech ability like? Still 31. (laughs) They should have that (laughs) in (laughs) it. You know they write little reports about the legends. They should do about team of the year and they should be like, Kane. Kane was a prolific striker back in the day. Again, Arsenal fans, right? Unfortunately... Many fans struggle to understand a word coming out of the young man's mouth. We, I feel like as an Arsenal fan, we can't speak about football like at all anymore. Of course like, we can speak about football. Nah. What do you mean? We have no right. No, we do because we go, we uh, dismantle our team more than anyone else. You know what I mean? True. So we're realistic. It's not like we're these Arsenal fans who are like, oh, we're still sick even though we're shit. Then we wouldn't have a right to speak because then you're like, you're not even a realistic fan. There's still fans that want Wenger to stay. How insane is that? I watched Arsenal fan TV and it's like, insane, he's bro. like, fuck it, I want Wenger out. And then his fans are like, no, the other adjective. There are fans and retards who want Wenger to stay. Um, happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday, pal. What, is anyone else home? No. All right. Well, uh, feel free to come back up if you want. There you go. We'll be, about, we'll be, we'll be another half hour or so. Add him on Instagram, bro. Shout out your Insta, Yep. Yeah. Geffen KK. 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 Add him. All 11 followers. Better get on that. But don't let your girl on that Insta, bro. You are? Three million followers, you get us. Uh, yeah, well, that was a quick interjection from our special guest. God, he's grown up, man. He's grown up. They grow up fast. I they remember Geff when he was like five, not five. He's I nearly wonder, taller I wonder than when me, I first met Geff, like a how bad old he was. Thing. You are? I wonder how old he was when I first met him. Little Geff. Well, we met in what, year nine? nine. Year nine would have been when we got Pally. How old are you in year nine? Like 14? 14. So I've probably known him at least. So I probably knew him when he was like, no, not when he was one. Yeah, you mean you would have known him not most of his life, really. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, since he was about two or three, yeah. That makes me feel old. Two or three? I mean, were you... No, because he wasn't... Was he, when? How old was he when... Was he born here? Or was he born in Israel? No, he was born here. He was born here. 2003 he was born. Fuck, I don't remember He's him He's a being, millennial. When you're one, you're not like a baby still. Yeah, kind of. I don't remember him being like that, man. Um, Do you know my first memory of Geff? Yeah. When, uh, and I think this might be when I first met him, 
when you used to have your birthday parties, we put a big tent up outside yeah. and just get baked all night. And then I remember he ran in at the start and then James was like, being like a dick to him. He's like, oh, bro, you're that guy no one wants here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> James, like, James used to be bare mean to him. Kai was like four years I was old. Like, James like, like ripping him. And then James is like a 16-year-old guy who's like bullying a four-year-old and like looking for laughs. Yeah, like, looking around the room like, hey, hey guys, can I get some validation? Finally, finally met someone he can terrorize. Because <laughs> <laughs> those were the days where James used to get abused. <laughs> That's why. So as soon as he yeah. saw a target weaker than himself, obviously he'd leap. He was like the beta male, wasn't <laughs> it? Just like picking on the young. <laughs> So that's my first memory of him. So he must have been like three. I just found a thing with him. Uh, that would have been... I would have done the first one at age 17. So yeah, the that's first probably what first. Yeah, because it's, like, it's not like I met you and then came out to you out yeah, that day. Yeah, like, yeah. We took at least three yeah, years yeah. to speak. Well, A, I'm a Jew, so you got to take a while before you can trust me. Oh, hell yeah. I and still B, don't trust I'm a first. Jew, so it takes a while before I can trust you. I feel like we become friends quite quick, though. No, I hated you for long. Did you? Yeah, I thought you were a proper waste, man. Really? No, I was just trying to annoy you there. Oh, that did annoy me. God, Good, I'm glad. A lot. I remember uh, in like year eight <laughs> playing... God, God, you know when you get like uh, a bad text, <laughs> you get that horrible belly. <laughs> That's what I just got then. Oh my God. Oh my God, did you hate me? Did you hate 10 year old? I did, I did dislike you the first memory I ever have of you though, which was we were in year eight. Diving. Yeah, yeah, we were in year eight playing football on the field and it was our form against your form and I... Like literally, I'd never spoken to you, and I tackled you, and you and you dived and just like grabbed the ball and like wouldn't give it, and was like, no, that's a free, and we're proper, and I was like, bro, like we don't even do fouls, let alone like dives, like we did. I used to, that and was my thing. Let go, and you had this smug smile while you were doing it oh, all yeah. along. <laughs> and I was just thinking, just stop trying to impress Mandela, the, all the, right? The we Venga, all fancy him. The Venga smile. <laughs> <laughs> did she he done his uh his uh, press conference? And he was like. Yes, I think uh, Sanchez will leave. Oh. Oh, oh, really? Do you think that? Oh, oh, okay. He's not going to leave, you know? Of course he's going to leave. No, he's just signed a four-year deal. Did you not just hear breaking news? Him and Ozil? No, Ozil signed a 12-year deal. Both four years? No, 12 years. It's just Ozil. the way he says it, like, I don't think he... And then he goes, that's what he said. He goes, they were like, why wasn't uh, Sanchez in the team? And he's like, oh... Uh, up until now, he has been committed, but uh, now he is not. And I was like, oh. Oh, yesterday. Was it, was it, yeah. Today. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Such a cunt. Yeah. God. And it's classic, though, though. If he goes to United now, yeah? Mm. I specifically remember Wenger giving the... We won't sell to United. Big speech. Yep. Big speech. I'll never do this to the fans again. Yep. I'll never let this happen again. Mm -hmm. He specifically said... No, he goes... He said those words. He goes, I won't... I will not sell to... United again. He didn't even say. Uh, he said, "I will never do this to the fans again. I will never sell mm. a key player to a rival. I will never sell to United." Having again. said that, though, Having if we get thirty million and Mkhitaryan. I'm happy oh yeah, yeah, fine. No, mean, and I'd also, having that. said that, I mean, not that this has anything to do with him. It's more his fault as well. I couldn't care less anymore. So sell to whoever the fuck you want because we ain't in the running with these. Why was chat about this shit? I, I watched Arsenal fan TV yesterday. Watched all the interviews, waiting for the hilarious. Switching to God, no one cares. That's it. They yeah, were no all just like, "Yep, yeah, whatever, man. Don't give a shit anymore." It's They're boring, like, man. That DT dude was like, "Oh, I bring." Uh, he's like, "I bring my son here." Um, sorry, I got itchiest ear in the world. He's like, "I bring my son here. Just try and enjoy it. It's shit, whatever." But that's uh, it. Like, no one. They're like, until Venga leave, like we just don't give a shit now. Like yeah. until he goes, uh, whatever. Like, what's the point of putting yourself through the pain anymore now? If that's what everyone's realised. They've realised, yeah. oh, hold on. Why care Just if they the way don't? my perspective can just stop me from getting hurt by this, so I don't care anymore. And what he said as well, he was like, look at... He was like, I was watching the players at one all, and he was like, you just knew that we were going to go concede again. I didn't even watch the game, so I don't you watch know, it. Like funny, I was, he was just like, I just don't give a shit anymore. There was a guy was like, at the pub the other day, and he was going on about how, you know, we were 1-0 up, and... I felt like they might equalise, but I knew that if they equalised, we'd get another one. And I was thinking... We'd get another one. Yeah, and I was thinking, how long you be... You're like 70, bro. You should know better. Yeah. Like, you've seen the last five, ten years, yeah? I... I, I when people you used know to if say... It goes one, one, when lose. people used to say, take Ozo and Sanchez out, and we'd be like a fucking eighth place team, I used to be like, nah, that's an exaggeration. Like, obviously, I don't think we'd be like... Well, we're not even with them, title changes, but I now can kind of see that point of view more. Like, we'll just be like an Everton. Like, go through Wait, our team. Like, take Ozil and Sanchez out and what? We're, we're just like a sixth place sort of good no, UEFA Cup can I just team. Can quickly could point us to the real, real time? Leave Ozil and Sanchez in. We're sixth place. Fifth. We come fifth. No, but I'm saying right now. Oh, with them in. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, 
six point adrift. Well, obviously it's hindsight, but like you you kept Sanchez for what? And that's why I think we should sell him. And like yeah, but like, this is what I was saying at the start of the season. Sell him now. Why are you going to keep him? What? So we can be because fifth or yeah, fourth but, yeah, but come see, January. See, I he agree with that. Fuck. But he, in his delusional head, he's like, I'm keeping him because we're going to try and challenge for the league. Yeah, but like, there's got to be a point. There's got to be a line between. Yeah, but he's deluded. He doesn't think like that. He thinks we we can win the league with this. Squad. I don't think he does. I he think. Do- oh God, fuck yeah, he does, no, man. He can't do. Yes, he can, bro. Well, he's then, he's so fully, then he should be sub- submitted to it and say. I time. watched uh, yesterday. What did I watch? It was an old art. Uh, I watched uh, Henri. It come up on my YouTube. Henri's amazing comeback goal. He leads right. Mm-hmm, classic. And I looked at our team. I was there. I I Ugh. looked at our fucking team. I was watching. It was like a highlights thing. It had Oxlade Chamberlain. This is go- like fuck knows how long ago it was. And I was like, Jesus, he just hung around and did absolutely fuck all. No, I've sold him. It had Coquelin. Jesus, he just hung around and did absolutely fuck all. What year was this? Oh, I can't remember now. It was like 2006, maybe, or something. No, no, no. I think it's like 2012. No. Hmm. Look that's, it up that's quickly. That's six man. years ago. Look it up just quickly and just find out. I'll carry on. Uh, it had Mikel Arteta, Chamak. All these shit players. I was like, Jesus, man. Like, think how long these players hung around for. Like, Coquelin's just left, like, yesterday. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like, he just sticks with these, like, crusty, has been, never was been players. Henri like. versus Leeds. Henri versus Leeds. We need the year, though. Um, 2012. 2012. Good call. Yeah. So, what, six years ago? Wow, that doesn't even feel that long ago. But it is that long ago. It's Six long years time, to stay at a club and do nothing. And think how long they were there before. Six years. Bro. <coughs> oh, my God. That's just come to... So, Chamberlain, yeah, since then, has probably scored three goals for Arsenal. Because <laughs> he I left on seven, I looked up bro. one time. He, he left, left on seven. He scored seven goals for us. Fuck off. He scored seven goals. I'm, I'm, that I'm calling you. bro science on that one, man. Jesus, he can't have scored second. He looks decent for Liverpool, by the way. You see him uh, against City? He's shit. I don't think he will be. It's the same as Theo. I he think if Theo, keep, I think if Theo leaves, he'll be They're good, man. They're both shit. 12 yeah, no, goals. I would love it. Okay, yeah, 12 goals. There you go. It's not far off, mate. <laughs> not far off, for God's sake. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I really wasn't that far. But then it says 152 appearances. How many of those were subs? Wait, man? oh, wait, wait. That's Premier League all seasons. How many has he scored for Liverpool? At least At a couple. At least two. At least a couple. So that's ten already to us. Wow, man. God. Okay, wait. That was 2012 when he when he did that, yeah? So that year, he scored two goals. The next season, he scored one. <coughs> the next season, he scored two. He's a two-goal season player. The next season, he scored one. That's six, And the next right? season, that's he eight. scored two. So he got eight. What did you say? Seven. And then at Liverpool, he's got three this season already, which is more than he's <laughs> scored for us in a season. <laughs> All these players, are, I'm like, why Why don't you want to leave? Like, jump off the sinking ship, man. Theo, because like. I think most of them know that they couldn't get a game in most other teams, bro. Well, there's definitely players in I our mean, team. I mean, Theo was thinking up till now, you can see why Theo didn't leave. Because anyone who wants him was Swansea and Everton and Southampton. So he's thinking... All right, I'll stick around here. Then I've got the chance of maybe playing in the Champions League. Well, it's what I've said to you uh, before. Uh, it's what I've said to you before. Quite, when when players who we've stuck with and then decide to get rid of, like I also went Almunia, Chamac, and then once they want to leave, it's like, okay, who comes in for them? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. look look at Sanchez. He's our first decent player for a while. He you wants to leave City and United coming for him. When it's Ozil... No one wa- who wants Ozil. Yeah. There's no talk of Ozil. Mm. You maybe. fucking shit. That's what I'm saying. Um, like, he's not can I just quickly just point out? I mean, it might be the wrong time to point out. Who in the world looks for a podcast, yeah, and thinks I want a podcast that talks about some random stuff that these two twenty-five year olds go and then just go on about Arsenal being shit because <laughs> they love Arsenal. <laughs> so random. But look at Arsenal fan so TV. Random, they just moan about Arsenal. Yeah, I know, but that it's an Arsenal channel. We become an Arsenal channel. No, and we just hate Arsenal. No, <laughs> that's what Arsenal fan TV is already. We have inside, bro. We're we might have edge. to stop talking about Arsenal. I think that might be the the, the key. No, we might have to have a five minute section. Oh, this at is my the Arsenal end. therapy. The last f- like 10, 15 minutes could be an Arsenal section, but I don't think people want the, the twenty minute Arsenal chat in the middle of the cast. You know. Well, I disagree. 
I fuck it. Listen, Ant, you get what you're <laughs> giving. You serve, we serve up what we give you. This is when the live comments come in. This is why you've got 12 years, but Usually bro. we don't speak about Arsenal. It's true. Because we don't care. It's true. It's January I mean, transfer window, mate. Hey, well, we've already bought a couple of solid players. You're right. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Yeah, enough. Enough's enough. Fuck off. Enough's so enough. Sanchez. Um, so, what else have you been up to, pal? What's life been throwing well, at you recently? I've been sick as fucking... Like, yeah, you've been sick, sick. As a, sick as a dog, ain't you, mate? Sick as a bloody dog, mate. Sick as a bloody dog. Yeah, I'm like, just dog. turned around. I was going to go gym this evening. Like, literally, I was like, oh, so I actually feel better today. Like, mm. da, da, da. And I started, like, coughing and spluttering. I was like, what's the point, man? Just yeah. like, you still look like a Greek god. It's true. You still move like the ocean. Move like the ocean. Your back still... The back is still as wide Sometimes as... I walk down the highway and I just hear, hey, silver back! I turn around and they're just staring at me. And I turn around and I see a massive silver back right, <laughs> yeah, right behind me. <laughs> oh, I've been like, do you know what I have, was doing when I was sick? I was looking into like animals. Do you know when you go down a weird YouTube route of just like, do you know what else bugs I go down a weird... My Grinding Gears you just, podcast. You just route. <laughs> <laughs> he filthy gets weird. Animal. You're a filthy animal. You know what bugs me? My I Grinding wait, Gears like podcast. Weeks. I don't want to hear sorry, about masturbation. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. Animal <laughs> kingdom, yeah? God. Sorry. Sorry, Dirty. it's fact. We'll talk about it in a minute. <laughs> I well, I went asexual for like a week. Yeah, ten days. You gonna get your new misses on the fucking cast? Yeah, not like for an interview. I mean, like following it. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, she knows. She knows it exists. They don't jump. They don't no care. No one supports, bro. You know why? Because they're all you know bitter what it is? and jealous. You don't, don't don't. This is what I've come to realize when you start something. This mm. yeah. Don't think that your friends and family are going to give a shit. Oh, hell no. You've got to get the random, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. But and I'm, then I'm your friends and family will jump on the bandwagon once they see it. Something. Oh, yeah. They're like, oh, I was there from day one. Like once Were we you? take off. Were you? Once we take... What do we say? We want... F- what was our New Year's goal for followers, subscribers? 15. <laughs> no, we put some like mad number. Don't know. We'd have to listen back. It was at least like 100, I think. Yeah, I think that would have been pushing it. That's so... Nah, that's doable, man. I'm big time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm big time. Stirble. 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 Um, yeah, you tell her and she's like, oh, yeah, nice. Cool. You going to ask the name? Yeah, sounds cool. Maybe hit us. No, 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 it sounds cool. It sounds cool. It sounds cool. That's literally, you be me and I'll be her. This is the conversation we had. Hey, um, you know, by the way, we, me and my mate, we're doing like this little podcast. That was really like, good sex, by the way, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> 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 yeah, what, what did you want to say? I it's said you move like mind. a wet salmon. <laughs> 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 I need some in. <laughs> I've been watching so much. I'm working Conor. with a rock. I've been watching so much. Conor I know. I can about. tell when you start posting videos on the group. Suddenly, it's like the last. If we are this 2016, the last Mayweather pro- press conference. One of Mayweather's like guys shouts out like, "You're gonna get fucked up." He just turns, takes over. Not by you, anyway. You little fool, whoever you are. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a legend. He's so fucking. You're a butt plug. I love him. My mum said to me the other day, I came and said I was playing, and she was like, why do you love this man? I was like, God, how long have you got? Oh, mother. <laughs> how long have you got, Get mother? the notepad out. Yeah. Um. Yes, yeah, she didn't buy it. I'll get her on the... On the nah, on don't the bother, innit? We're, we're looking for bigger fish. We are. <laughs> got bigger. We've got, we're looking for celeb. <laughs> you know what? We should have a look if there's any, like, <laughs> podcast labels that take demos, and then they're like, oh, yeah, we'll sponsor you. But then we'd just be inundated with sponsors. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and then all the money would start flooding yeah. in. Yeah. I don't, don't need that. money. We don't want that. No, I'm like, I like to be rich. pure. No, we're not. No, that's, do you know that Chris that's what we're trying to say here. I'm so. I'm so rich. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> He's a waste, man. Do not follow us, Chris. <laughs> do you not like Chris? I love Chris Delia, man. Do you know what I said about comedians? I said this to you. I watched the specials. Yeah, they're Because I was watching Theo Vaughn. On all these different podcasts, and he's so hilarious, man. Like when he's just having a chat, mm. and then like when you go to watch the podcast, he's that like, completely different person. Trying too hard. Well, like why he's funny is to me is like he's so blunt and he doesn't like. He's like kind of a bit like he's a bit like Ryder. He's like monotone and he's kind of just like, like he's having a, this isn't that funny, but like just maybe laugh where he's like they're having a conversation with him. He's like, yeah, my girlfriend's sister got eaten by a panther, and he just and then like he doesn't even like elaborate, and it's just yeah, like he's yeah, so yeah. random. But for some like reason, Will like Ferrell. every comic who does this special, they come out and they have to have this like mad energy, and it's like what's that? And it's just like it's just I don't know, man. It mm, doesn't like you got to remember, man. When you're feeding it to the masses, yeah, 
people are retarded. They need you to be like super over the top to get Yeah. Them. And I read this like cunty report and it was like basically like digging out his special and it was like, yeah, he like, he, uh, he makes fun of like homo- uh, homophobic people and then like claims to be fighting homophobia. Like, He's basically like, he, has, he does this like bit, I've seen it on a podcast where he talks about how he doesn't like sex. He's like, maybe I'm gay. Like, and he yeah. like, like makes jokes of it. Yeah. And they're like, he makes light of a serious topic, which some people might be finding the struggle every day. It's like, Jesus, Ugh. man. He's doing a fucking comedy Ugh. special. Like, Ugh. do you know what I mean? Like, he's not, he's not like a politician. Like, You know, humor gets us through the darkest of times. God, that's very uh, wisdom, wisdomful. Yes. Is that a word? No. Wisdomful. It's not a word. Not really. God, I ruined your wisdom. A little bit. Um, but you know, I hate it when people say that sort of bullshit. Like, oh, you can't make fun of that. You know, that that's just as bad as the act. No, it's not, bro. Like, if it's funny, it's funny. That is the rule. You can if it's a shit everything. joke, if it's a shit rate, if you make a great racist joke, that ain't racist to me. That's just a joke and it's mm-hmm. funny. If it's a shit racist joke, yeah, you're a fucking racist, mate. Get off stage. You said before, man, humor is like a form of coping. Bro, man. they say that the only reason, well, some people say that the only reason the Jews survived the Holocaust was because of humor. Yeah. That that yeah, otherwise yeah, yeah. people would have got just would have just given up. But half mm-hmm. of them, you know, there was hope and there was humor. They was like, ah, you know, one day we'll laugh back at this. Do you know what's amazing? It's dark as, well, as it when is. You, when you something like <laughs> that. one day there'll be people who deny this ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> when um, it's amazing when you get like a group of people like in a situation like that, how they come together and mm. how they like you said they use shit like that to get through it. I was I was reading this book. Like if you're by yourself, about, it'd be a whole. Nother. Oh, compl- well. Uh, the, the example I was going to say this guy talks about about hope and he says that hope is what keeps all humans alive and he was going that what stops a um, death row inmate you know from com- just trying to commit suicide you know you, you are on death row yeah say mm. for 10 years mm. you know you're going to die at some point yeah but you just don't know when so what stops them from just committing suicide just being like what's the point of waiting bro I might as well just die now yeah. like, or like stop eating or do this or just try and kill yourself in any way is that they've got this little thing in their mind that even when they're sitting down in the fucking electric chair there's a little bit of their brain going someone's going to stop this someone's not going to let this happen also, like, this, I'll, I'm going to survive this somehow we like. all have a inbuilt sort of like natural instinct to survive. survive yeah yeah for example when you see a car motoring towards you you can jump out of the way you have that instinct to survive well there's like fight or flight like some people stand there like a fucking rabbit in the headlights and they just get murked mm. oh fucking hell talking about that my mum's f- well not uh, she's kind of a friend my mum was supposed to go to this like <laughs> not <bird>. anymore <laughs> sorry literally that was probably inappropriate so inappropriate <laughs> god I'm so sorry mum <laughs> sorry sorry Rachel Got into you today, bro. <laughs> What's got into you today? I can just feel how dark that was <laughs> before the story. Now that I, I feel like God, this story. Please, please lighten the story up. Don't make it as dark as I feel like it's going to be. I feel like I can't go into it now. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> right. So moving on. <laughs> oh God, God, that's so horrible. I was about to get so. Who raised me? I was about to get so deep there <laughs> into like the meaning of life, and she just came out. Not anymore. Just came out. <laughs> oh. oh, it's not good. It's not. This is the state of the youth today. God, and they're getting worse. Trust me on that. God, I can't go into it now. Oh God. <laughs> Sorry, man. I feel like I'm getting iller being around you as well. All right, calm down. Fuck it now. Maybe your house they got me in the first place. I doubt it. No one's been ill in here for time, man. We all got jabbed, yeah? So we don't get no flu this, summer, this winter. I have every jab. My mum was like... Well, you I'm didn't have no jab. Don't chat shit to me. Have you met my mum? You had the winter jab. Well, like this winter, yeah. I mean? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, then then you didn't have the jab. What's the jab? I was calling it the jab. Like, it's this weird... It's like, a jab, group. bro. Didn't you have the jab? No, the, the, the pharmacy give out a free jab at the start of winter that supposedly will make sure you don't get a cold during the winter or a flu. When you went and got it? We all got it, and none of us have had a flu yet. You're in the Matrix, bro. You're in the Matrix. You know what I did? I reorganized that code. I just plugged into a computer. You now, bro. You're fucked. They just. Oh, you're not one of these. Oh, I will. I never let my kid get any vaccination or flu jab because I know they're just putting poison and aliens inside their blood from the racist uh, uh, moon rapists. They rejected you. They want you to be happy now. Oh God. The last jab they wanted you to be. You probably believe in the Illuminati, you know. 
Don't talk about the Illuminati on this podcast, yeah? Why? They'll come for you, mate. They can hear what you're saying. God, I've just lost my mic. I've lost my mic, guys. Oh, do you know what I watched last night? Um, talking of conspiracies, the moon landing. I watched a documentary about Lance Armstrong. It's kind of cool, man. What about how it never happened? No, they were like saying it did happen. <laughs> of course it happened. There was like, do you know what was interesting? When he came back, yeah, did you know this? When I he don't know what you're going to say yet. When he came back from the moon landing, obviously he became like a massive celebrity and he hated it. You know that? I'm not surprised. He's like a scientist, bro. Yeah. I'm into it to be like a that, celeb. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. Like, you don't become an astronaut to get like famous. Yeah, like. by no means, man. You do it because you're madly intrigued by space. Yeah. And then he quit, uh, he quit NASA and he went to, he was like teaching something could like who was it Neil Armstrong you say is it Neil yeah Neil Armstrong uh, Neil Armstrong uh, I just want to call him Lance because it's like yeah Neil Armstrong and he he went uh, he was teaching at a university and apparently the first day he was there like he, all his students left and all the media were outside and apparently he like slammed the door and like locked himself in I like, just didn't he hated talking to the media and then the media were like oh this guy's an arsehole he's like they basically called him like a recluse and his son was like, he wasn't a recluse. He was just a media recluse. He just didn't want to talk to them. Yeah. And his well, son was like, we had a conversation one day. He was like, I don't feel the need to like update the media on what I'm doing with my life. He's like, I just want to like live and be left alone. Yeah, but the, the media don't get, bro. It's like, bro, if you came up to some media, bro, with a bunch of cameras in this and try to ask him something personal, they're not going to want to talk about it either. They just assume that all famous people want every part of their like personal life blasted out across the world. You know Most the people biggest, don't. The biggest like arsehole really thing I've ever seen. Times. The biggest arsehole uh, like photographer thing I've ever seen was Miley Cyrus. Yeah. Oh yeah. She walks outside. I watched it on YouTube and it was like a hundred times celebrities get angry. This is one of my four in the morning YouTube video watching. Mm, mm. So she comes outside and she's like, oh. um she like comes down the road and the, the footage is from the photographer. Like I don't know why he put it out. So he's filming her. Probably thinks he's in the right. Probably. He's filming her and she's like, oh, sorry guys. Like you've been here all day. Like you're like blocking the road. He's like, my neighbors like want to call the police. He's like, she's like, do you just mind if like you just leave? And he's like, we're not filming you, Miley. Like we're not even filming you. She's like, I can see the camera. Like you are obviously yeah. filming me. Then like the camera drops so you can just hear the dialogue. And she's like, look, I'm going to my parents' house. She's like, I, I'm not really sure, like, what you want. Like, she's like, do you want to, like, take some pictures of me now? Then you can just, like, be on your way kind of thing. Mm. And he's like, no, we're not filming you. And she's like, look, like, I know you are. Like, why are you here then? And then he, like, can't answer. She's like, look, get whatever pictures you want now and then just leave. Then we're cool. And he just won't admit that they're filming her. She's like, all right, cool. Soon as she goes away, they start taking pictures, filming her. And she's like, she's like for fuck's sake, like, fuck off. And then she gets angry. I was like, what a dick. Like, why not just be like, okay, cool. I'll get the pictures. That's you know why I'm she's here. Being and then Lee, yeah, like, yeah. That's what I mean. She's not even being a dick. I was just like, Jesus, man. Like, the best ones are the. Is it the Johnny Depp one or, or is it Hugh Grant? I don't know. I Hugh love how you're just fixing your mic while talking. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Grant just like slams the camera out of the photographer's hands and smashes it on the floor. Oh, loads of people do that. Kanye West like wrestled some dude and like broke his camera. <laughs> Kanye a joke. Kanye walks into signs and then switches at signs. That was so fucking funny. He looks at the sign like, the fuck you <laughs> doing there? How dare you be in my way? <laughs> <laughs> He's got so many, man, on the uh, getting angry at reporters. Like, yeah, hey, I bet, so. I bet. But he even even he was kind of reasonable, like, like he was chatting to them, mm. like obviously doesn't really want to be, and he's like, all right guys, I'm going now, and some guy like tries to shove the camera in his car, and like, he's like, they literally just made a call. He's like, what are you doing, man? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Fuck, bro. Like, be I'm normal. not gonna lie, I would see, I would test out what happens if you just when he puts the like, hand in the car with a camera, just grab the camera, karate chop the wrist. They sue them. All right, my camera. They want to be attacked. Yeah, they do. They love it. it. Yeah, yeah of course. When they get attacked, they love That's it. That's the jackpot. He can for man can retire. Yeah, yeah. So. It's like that G who called uh, Bieber like a prick. He's like, "You're a cunt," and Bieber like punched him, and he's like, "Woo!" No, Two way million. Way he goes, he goes, Lose your bouncy, you little cunt. Fuck off back to America. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, fuck that, man. Yeah, but there you go, isn't it? Celebs, eh? Life in the public eye. Life in the public eye. We we better prepare. We better prepare. I'm already prepared, bro. I'm not. I got bodyguard the other People day. People are gonna die. I got bodyguard. <laughs> Follows me around. <laughs> Does it? would be hilarious if you just had like no one knew who the fuck you were yet, but you were just rich and you just had bodyguards. <laughs> <laughs> just like follow you around, like 
and they'd like secretly behind your back and they go and they'll be like why are we looking after him like, yeah I mean no one's ever tried to talk to him or yeah. like but then you employ other people to try and fuck with you to test the bodyguard to test them <laughs> I want you on high alert like every day someone trying to tax me <laughs> <laughs> no, these people are like we don't even know who he is and no one else does but for some reason people are out to get him I wonder if like mafia guys have bodyguards I doubt like it the they're sort of their own bodyguards and sort of all their little goons what about like the, yeah they, everyone else in the gang is their bodyguard True. almost you know what I mean or just thinking of narcos like yeah that's like mm. everyone's his little butt plug what's that little guy called El Cuica Cuica La Cuica La Cuica I watched um, La Cuica I started watching Black Mirror Oh, did you start? Yeah, I watched one of them. Is it good? It's good. I'm not tell you about this. You said you started watching one. Is this still? Are we still on the one that you watched five minutes of? Uh, no, no. I was talking about Crocodile. When I haven't hit, watched that one yet. The fucked hit, up one. When they hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't. I, I, ne- I didn't watch that. I just read about that. Oh. Uh, okay. This one I watched. It was like um, you'd like it, man. Probably like futuristic. I know. I'd love every episode. I can't. I don't know why I've never sat down and watched all the series. Because yeah. I'm the I like same them. though. Every day I'm like, I know I want to. Wa- I just never watch them. Mm. I've wanted to watch. But you I, know what? I'm a busy guy. I got shit to do. You're not a business man. Things are on my business, plate, man. Bro, this plate ain't gonna eat itself. I agree. Yeah. So these t- these guys, they go. Um, I've got meat. I've got veg. You're pissing me off. They have uh They have these little like they call it the coach. It's like this little like it looks like a phone, but it's like circular, and basically, it tells you you've got a date. So it'll be like beep beep. We have found you a match, and then you go and meet the match. So it comes up like a little picture of them. But mm. this thing is like sick. Like you talk to it, you're like. Oh, like, am I going to like her? And she's like, yeah, you'll probably like, like, it's like basically like chatting to a human. Yeah, a like a little uh, electric thing. Right. And when you meet the date, you put your little f- pods together and it tells you how long that relationship is going to last for. <laughs> so they'll go out for dinner, they'll touch it and it'll be say 12 hours. So they just go back to these like, and, and they're, they're in this like little weird, like virtual world, if that makes sense. So there's like these little cars with like no drives that drive you to your room and like they go and like bang and then the ones that... So say like... We, it's you not ma- a weird virtual world. That's our planet in about 35 years time. Maybe. They, so listen, so they so they get like a 12 hour one. Uh, they go back to this hotel room and they don't have sex, but like they're getting on. Mm. Nothing happens. They go away. The next day they both get another match and like his one is like one year and her one is like, I think like three years or something. Yeah. So they go back and then they're like, he doesn't like this girl. She's like a bitch. Like she's probably horrible. They're having sex and she's like, this is horrible. Like, what, the one that he says one year to with? Yeah. But he has to stay with her for that year. Why? Because the machine. So basically, so the machine will find your ultimate match if you just stick with it. Yeah. Okay. So like there's, look, they go to all these weddings of people like, look, trust me guys, trust in the system. Eventually, like, I love this. Like you're going to find your match. Yeah. So what the whole point of the machine is, it's it's putting you in all these relationships, da, da, da. Yeah. And it's building up like a database of like how you deal with all these situations, like blah, blah. blah and it's going to find you your ultimate match, right? Yeah. So you have to, so he's with his girl for a year and he hates her and he's like, this is so peak. Yeah. But the whole time he's still thinking about the, the last other girl. Chick, yeah. So then he gets matched with her again mm. and she, they go to do it and she's like, no, no, please, can we just not look at how long our expiry date is? Yeah. And she's like, because I keep getting like one night stands mm. and she's like, I'm having sex with these guys and it feels like I'm not even there. Like I've had like out of body experience. She's like, let's just not look. Yeah. So they're getting along great and they're like, they're in love. Da, da, da. Mm. But he's like, I have to know, like, I need to know if she's like my ultimate match. So then he has a look without her knowing. So you're supposed to like do it together. Yeah. And it says five years. Mm. And he's like, oh, fuck, man. Like I thought she was the one. Mm. But then it starts like freaking out and it goes machine malfunctioning. And he's like, shit, shit. And it starts just counting down four years, three years, two years, one year, yeah. six months because he's looked without her. Yeah. And then she obviously, and then it goes to 12 hours. Mm. And he's like, oh my God. Then she finds out he's looked. They kind of like break up. Yeah. Then she gets found her ultimate match. The machine says, right, we found your ultimate match. And you can have one last date with one of the guys who you're with because like research has shown it it'll give you closure. Yeah, yeah. She obviously chooses him. Mm. They get together and they lips. Oh my God, I love you. She mm. throws her machine away mm. and she's like, let's just escape together. Mm. But you can't escape because there's these weird guards who like are like working for the system. Right, yeah. As they go to escape, all these guards freeze and they just like walk out and they're like, let's climb the wall. And it's this giant wall and you've got to like climb out of it. It's like a weird world. Yeah, there. yeah. Then you see that. 
so basically the machine says we match 99.8% of the time with your ultimate match. Mm. So they escape. And basically what happens is this whole, cut a long story short, this whole machine puts you in this simulation with the same girl a thousand times. If you say, fuck the machine, fuck the system, and 998 of those times just trying to escape together, that is who your ultimate match will be with. Okay. So then it like pings them into real life mm. and they're holding this little pod and it says, that's your ultimate match. Go and meet them. And then you see them meet for the first time. Oh, wow. It's cool, man. Yeah, that sounds all right. I thought I wanted a bigger twist, but yeah, that's okay. It is a big twist at the end. Though. You're like, oh shit, like that was, none of that actually happened. It yeah, was all yeah, a simulation yeah. of how they like react. Hmm. And they could definitely do that one day, man. If they had a database on your personality and then they, you yeah, like, they could. they could match you with someone else like that and then find you a match. Definitely. Bro, have you seen match.com? No, not 58 with but have four you seen kids, the adverts, two cats. Bro, it? You have to fill out like 9,000 questions. So. I once tried to put one of our imagine. mates on... Uh, plenty of fish. Not plenty of fish. It was... I can't remember now. One of those dating sites and I filled it out for like an hour and then it was like, because I was towards the end I got bored, they were like, you are not a real person. <laughs> like, Fuck's sake. <laughs> plenty of fish. Have you ever, did you ever go on Plenty of Fish? No, I've never been on any of those. I mean, I've tried signing James up to a few before. You was you were Tinder for a while. Oh yeah, I've been on Tinder once. Everyone's been on Tinder once. How was your Tinder experience? Uh, <laughs> didn't really like it. No. Well, especially not the group Tinder when some chick just called me a faggot for no reason. <laughs> that was so classic. Was like, wow, okay. That's what, nice. um, so you never had a Tinder date, did you? No. Could have, obviously. I mean, yeah, your Tinder was popping up. No, I mean, I, there was a, I was chatting to a few of them, but it was just weird. I don't know. I don't, I'd rather meet someone in real life. Well, yeah, that's the whole point. You tap them on Tinder. No, you know. but as in, I'd rather be like, oh, like, bu- hot, like yeah, like bump and be like, well, can I take you out for a drink? I'd rather that, personally. True. It's easier though, isn't it, on Tinder? Yeah, but but I'm not going to go... But like in a club, you can't do that. In a club, it's like you're either taking them home that night or you probably never speak to them again because everyone's smashed. Not necessarily. Mm. I've like, got girls' numbers for and just... Like, Did, then you hit them up the next day, yeah? And they remembered who you were? Yeah. All right, fair enough. That girl from New Year's, I, I've mentioned her a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I'd rather I know just meet mean, a girl in a library and be like, hey, what you reading there? <laughs> <laughs> the library. Just be that creepy guy that hangs around the library. I'm not creepy guy that's hanging around the library, yeah? Man, just taking a book out. I see a nice young lady. She's taking out a nice book. I'm like, hey, what you reading but there? But what are the fucking odds of that? Going to the library the one day there's a girl you fancy there and then her chat, like, do you know what I mean? It yeah, just, I guess it so. increases your odds, man. I don't know, but I literally don't even think about it because I ain't really been single in so long. I don't yeah. ever really think about how I'd approach it. Yeah, I agree. Most of the time I think about make sure you avoid any situation where temptation could arise. I always find like the guys who, say like you're a single dude, the guys who like really like look for it, like they're like, oh, I want to like to get yeah, someone, yeah, it yeah. never happens for yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. If you just don't look, it always just ends up on your lap. Like, mm-hmm. do you not think? Yeah, 100%. Like no one likes spirit. to try hard. No one likes to try hard. Yeah. No, I agree. God, we just give out the greatest dating advice. Yeah, guys, just tune back in next week. One yeah. on one. Well, I say next week, but it probably takes another four weeks to put another one out. We've been good lately. Yeah, no. it's been 11 days since the last one. It's not too well, bad. I was sick for like eight days. Yeah. I'm still kind of I've been Ill. pretty busy as well. So. Oh, I'm, I'm looking, I'm going to book my uh, operation. Ooh, we man's getting a new nose, isn't it? He's like a million dollar man. Long nose, like garden. We holes. will, re- we will rebuild him. He will be stronger. He will be faster. Do you know the thing that's the only thing that's scary has been put he will to breathe. sleep, man. I want to put to sleep, bro. <coughs> <coughs> that thought of like not ah, knowing. Man, it was like when right. you wake up and you don't know where you are. And, like that. Yeah. and apparently you can't control what you say. So whenever I wake up, I'm gay. I've always been gay. What then? Then I guess you you've come out. God, you there must it. be someone that's come out after <laughs> after being put to sleep. I don't think people come up. I don't think when they wake up not knowing where they are, the first thing they say is, "I'm gay." <laughs> I know I'm gay. They probably go, "Where am I?" <laughs> oh, <laughs> who the fuck are you? This is what I'm scared as well. You see how my brother's like not a small dude. Like, yeah, he apparently when he woke up from uh, he had his um, I'm so impressed. God, he had his Dust. uh. He had his tooth, uh, wisdom teeth out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They apparently, when he, apparently when he woke up, he was like, not aggressive, but like, he was like, where the fuck am I? And like, wouldn't like get down. 
and uh, I don't know what happened, but the nurse was like, "Next, if you ever have like another um, operation or something, you should tell them that you react aggressively when you first wake up." Mm, that's long. Yeah, my mum's friend broke her neck once. She had to, have, so she woke up and she thought, like, she woke up and could see all the like doctors, surgeons, and she thought that they were trying to like kill her. And apparently, she went like insane. God, that's what freaks me out, like shit like that. But then I guess you just like, I don't know. You calm mm. down eventually. That's all just films fucking with your brain, though. Not really. You wake kind up, of. you don't know where you are, and you see a bunch of dudes with s- hats and masks on, and like you're like, where the hell am I? You don't know where you are. You're just, that's freaky, man. Mm, yeah. But I just think of films when they wake up on the operating table. Like. Oh, no, she didn't wake up on the operating table. Yeah, no, I know what you mean, but like that you wake up and there's like people about you, and you just think, oh, my God, I've been My mum's friend had her cat rack done, you know, in your eyes, Yeah. and she didn't want to be put to sleep, so she had the operation like awake. while she was awake. So they're literally holding her eye open and she's watching them work on her eye. fucked up. How messed up is that? Mm. Well, I had my pee-pee surgery when I was awake. Button that. Mm-hmm. Put me to sleep. Would you rather be put to sleep? 100%. You can't feel anything. Huh? You can't feel anything, though. Don't care. It's put better not to be put to sleep if you can avoid it as well. Why? Because it's not good to, like, shut your body down. Like, <laughs> you know I mean? it's not natural. I like sleeping. It's not sleep, though. Kind of like sleep. It's like being fucking, I don't even know, date raped. Yeah, it's a bit like an overdose, son. What if you got a surgeon that just wanted to, like, butt fuck you while you slept? It happens. It must have happened before. It happens. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it happens. I wake up and they're like, how's your nose? I don't know, but my arsehole is really sore. <laughs> 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 weird creep. I need to meet this surgeon and like have a thorough chat with him any questions are you going to rape me mm-hmm. <laughs> imagine asking that <laughs> can I see your criminal record please? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus yeah but I am shook man I am scared but I gotta do right. it man I gotta br- I can't breathe well we know the fact of the matter is never been a better time to do a surgery like this so. why because what does that mean no, it just means the medical... Fi- like, people have been having this surgery probably for, like, 20, 30 years. Mm. Yeah. I'm just saying, now's the best time to have it. It's the most... Safest, re- you mean? Yeah. Safe is best, whatever. Probably, yeah. They've got the best procedures now. We only get better at this shit, right? Yeah. So if people were coming away with success rates 20 years ago, should have been, like, quadrupled by now. At least. It's safe surgery, man. It's apparently lost an hour. Mm. And... I was reading like I watch all these like videos people had it people like yeah I was at work that day really yeah that guy <laughs> my man is a trooper proper man well the thing is you wake up the only thing that is is like they're apparently as soon as this is so if it's like they can't stop the bleed this is if you get unlucky so apparently if say if the bleeding's bad they put these things they look like tampons up yeah. your nose mm. And they have to stay in for like 24 to 48 hours. So you can only breathe out your mouth for two days. That sounds shit. Mm. Like, imagine not being able to breathe out your nose two days. And then when they take them out, apparently it's fucking painful. Like, So if you're lucky... Fair, when I've got a bad cold, I'm breathing out my mouth for like three, four days. You are, but you still have that thought that you can still go. Not like really, that. because you're fucking blocked with fuck. Yeah, I know what you mean. But you can blow your nose. You'll get the old... Like, yeah. It's not the same as having like... A well, not as sensitive in, in the sense. Yeah. yeah. Especially like waking up from surgery, trying to breathe out your nose. Hang on, don't breathe out your nose. You know, like mm-hmm. that's trippy. Like all these things are tripping me out. I don't know, man. But I just can't carry on not being able to fucking breathe. It's like stupid. I feel like my attitude towards death makes things a lot easier like this. If I was having this surgery, I'd be like, okay, so worse comes worse, I might die. Yeah, it's not die. You're not going to die. Oh, I'd love to die. Hey, positive Jordan, what <laughs> happened to you? Mate? Hour gone and you're fucking miserable again. I'm not even miserable. I I want to die. Yeah, man. Be Let's another ex- be an inter- interesting experience. Um, currently happening. Happening right now in your hometown. I got some good ones. Fuck your hometown. Am I taking off Sanchez's From finally off? From my hometown. I'm taking off Sanchez's finally off. Made in Maurice's estate. Um, yeah. Number one, did we talk about the H&M ad on the last one? No, we didn't. Did but I happen? don't really want to. We talked about it for so long the other day. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all H&M'd out. Look, it wasn't racist. Calm down. But at the same time, fuck you, H&M. Do better. Mm. Everyone needs to calm down, basically. 
H and M, calm down with your shit advertising campaign. Did People, you see the calm one down that, uh, with your jumping on racist bullshit. Did you see the one that Fingy posted, uh, the KKK one today? <laughs> yeah, the I mean, white kid. What did it say? It was fake that. though. Obviously, it was fake. Idiot. <laughs> Coolest kid in the clan, KKK. That's <laughs> just a white dude smiling. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. Yeah, it's funny. It's not funny. Text, I mean. Um. What else you got? What else you got, pal? I don't like the way you dismiss my current events, quite frankly. Well, we can talk about that if you want. Nah, but you got to go into it. I don't want it now. All right, don't do that. I do. I love talking about it. It's interesting. We had the best chat about it when we were like a little bit drunk in my room. Did we talk about it in your then as well? Uh, kind of. Mm, we spoke about racism more than that. We yeah. got into racism as a topic. Yeah. It was interesting. A lot of our off off camera discussions would be good podcast discussions. Of course, of course they would. We should start carrying just filming our lives. We should start just carrying ready to go mics so we can just and then we can piece together our weeks. We need an MTV show podcast. We need an MTV show. Yeah, yeah, we do. That would be a cool uh, program where it's just like you have. We'd have to like film all the time. You have all your chats throughout the week. Mm. It would be long though because half the chats wouldn't be genuine because you'd have a cameraman there. Yeah. You gotta remember the observer effect changes everything. It does, but like when we do this, sometimes I forget we're doing this, if that makes sense. Hey. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Like just when you said that reminded me we're doing it. Like, I, I do zone into like just chatting to you. Yeah. Yeah, but it's different because it's just me and you. I'm saying if there's a bloke with a camera there. Oh yeah, then it would then it changes. Change. Yeah, this is there's no observer effect here. Really, we're just chilling yeah. and chatting. Is that what's called the observer effect? Observer effect is what happens to to these um, electrons. Yeah, they get fired out of a cannon. They cr- they made this cannon to fire the, these electrons I've out of the cannon. This before. And then when they're being watched, they behave in a non-logical way. Yeah. So it means, which basically means the universe is code. It basically means that everything's being created for us, by us, or yeah. by a higher intelligence species. God damn. Yeah. It is interesting. If you put... Say if you, like, go downstairs now, didn't say a word, went up to anyone in your family and just did that and started filming them and mm-hmm. watched their reaction, you're always going to get a slight reaction. Yeah, of course. Like, where it be, like, a bit uncomfortable, where yeah. it be you start getting loud, where it be you start doing something stupid. I yeah, think that's yeah. interesting, though. Like yeah. the power a camera has when you go into the room with it. Yeah. Well, it's it's the idea of what you're doing is not in the moment anymore. It's now someone could watch that in two hours. But you're only getting people on Instagram that's, who just that's constantly really film people or Snapchat. And there's yeah. always that one follow who's like constantly filming their friend. Yeah, yeah. And they'll be like, oh, what do you think of this? Uh, and then they film their friend. Mm. You can instantly see this, this weird... There's a, a change a in A change. Their, and they, in like, even their voice, yeah. they're like, well, like... like and yeah, you feel yeah. like you have to be like... Uh, I know you feel like you, have, you can't just be like stop filming. You have to like perform, You're like yeah. dance, monkey dance. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's weird, man. The power of the camera. Yeah, but I think it makes you it makes it makes you a lot more reflective about yourself. You're just in wearing. that moment. You suddenly like, how am I coming across? How is it like, who's gonna see this? Mm-hmm. What will they think if I do this? Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's weird. That's weird. Which mi- yeah, I don't know. You don't it get means. it as much with what like does a it picture mean? though. You don't get it as much with like a like a camera. Say like you walk in with a camera because you're gonna be like, right, I'm taking a picture, then you get in and you just smile for the camera. Yeah, but then exactly when you when you take when someone takes a picture, you still look it's still like a turn to the camera, people sort of pull a slight pose or a slight face. No one just gets on like someone gets a camera, they don't just keep like ch- once yeah. in a while that does happen. That's why photos are cool when it's like the person doesn't know and it's like in the moment. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. capture an actual it. genuine... Do you know what I always find fucking weird, yeah? People who have like pictures on their wall of like where their family have gone to like a place. Yeah. And it's like a... Uh, they take the picture and you get like dressed up and fucking... Do you know like you go to like a... Oh, like the photo booth bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. I always find that weird, man. Why? Because it's like... I don't know. It's just very like forced. Like it's not... like I think... I like the pictures and I think like... It should be like you're doing something. You're in the moment. You're on a holiday, like or something. But they'll go and like dress up as like Victorians and weird. Like, do you know what I mean? Not. Oh, so you mean like when they go to like one of them proper things? 
You like, just, like, you go, go to, to like... professional and have pictures taken. Oh, that bullshit. Yeah, yeah. I don't get that. Like, even Connor has it. Like, he, did, our friend Connor, he did, like, they went with, like, when their kid was born. And it's yeah, like, right, yeah, we want a picture yeah, yeah. of you holding the baby up. We want a picture of you laying down. It's just like, yeah. when I look at those pictures, I'm not like digging them out, but like when I look at those pictures, it just looks so forced. It's like, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, no, I don't understand It's so obviously that not a natural picture. Like, it's obvious that like someone has designed, it's like a designed moment in time that's not actually reality. It's just like yeah, a yeah. forced image. I just find that weird. Yeah. It, I don't like it. I mean, I've never be take part in anything of, the, of such a kind. No. But, I kind of understand why people do it. I do and I don't, man. Like, would it not just be way more cool to just, like, go on an outing, go to, like, the beach and just, like, get some cool photos? Of you yeah, picture? 100%. But I think. But it's like those old school Victorians, yeah, when they had, like, I know it's a bit different, but, you know, when a picture was taken of them, it's quite a rare thing, yeah? It's quite expensive just for one shot. Uh? Yeah. So you get better dressed up, but it, you put in massive amount of effort into how you want to come across mm. rather than you're just taking a picture you're out yeah so to some people for a photo of you or your family is still that it's still like a real thought about how you want to come across rather than just it's just a photo i think that's still ingrained in us from the start of photography mm. that a photo is quite like a this is your opportunity to to be come across how you'd like to come across I've so if you with, do it like um, with a family, it's like, hey, we're f- we're a close knit family. Hey, look, I love my kid. Like, I've you know what I mean? Rather than just we're just living our life. I've taken a picture with like a girl before, and she'll be like, <clears throat> see, I just like take a picture, or like I don't know, like we're doing something, take a picture. They'll be like, let me see a picture. Like, they won't be able to chill until they've seen the picture and like yeah. okay that they look okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, I find. Um, or about like, delete that now. Delete a that lot now. of people are like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got a weird story about this once, yeah. I, this is how much... You know where I say as you... Um, well, you know what I find funny is what people always say something to me about the face I pull. They're like, why are you pulling your face? Because well, they're all so concerned about coming off a certain way. But even that, the face you pull is because of the camera. You're well, into no, the like, camera and you're like... Yeah, but uh, the face I pull is because I'm uncomfortable. Yeah, that's what I'm I saying. Don't like. feel, whereas the other people, they, they want to come across... I'm uncomfortable being like... Mm, look at me, I'm paying, like trying to look paying. So I'm just going to be like, oh, I'm just going to cut my losses here and just look like a freak. What? So what you're saying, they ask you why you're doing that? Yeah, they don't understand why someone wouldn't take how they oh, come across in right. a picture seriously. Right. They're like, why aren't you taking this seriously? You're like, people are going to see this photo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So That's they how they're thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas I'm thinking like, why are you taking yourself so seriously? I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Yeah, I did it once and we got in a row, so... This is this is going back, yeah. But so someone had taken a picture of the girl I was seeing, and then I was in the background of the picture, mm. and I'm like looking through their phone. Uh, sorry, it was on the camera. I'm looking through the camera mm. of all the pictures of this day. I can't even remember what it was. It was maybe someone's like birthday. There's some sort of like event in it. So yeah. Right yourself. And I'm in the back. So the pi- imagine a picture of them. Like it's their face, but then I'm just in the background. Yeah. Yeah. And it must have caught me like laughing or doing something, and I my, like my face looked like disfigured. Do you know you're like, yeah, yeah, just getting yeah. that butter's angle. And I was like, whoa, I look fucked there, innit? So I deleted the photo. Mm. I was like, oh, I, I just like, I don't even know why I did it. Like yeah. now I would never do it. I'm just yeah, like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. I don't give a shit. So I delete the picture. This one I was like, probably like 18 or 19. Delete the picture. Don't think about it. Then that evening, someone's like, oh, where's that picture of you? Like I really liked that picture. Not of me, of the girl. Yeah, so yeah. they're looking for it. And then they're like, Tom, did you delete the picture? I should have just lied and be like, no. I was like, oh, yes, I didn't like it. And they're like, what do you mean you didn't like it? But I was too embarrassed to say that I didn't that like I've myself. I thought in the background. So I've then said, oh, I just didn't like the picture of the person. Mm. And it's caused this huge issue. And it got so awkward. Really? They're like, that's so fucking weird. Like, why would you do that? I was just like, oh, sorry, I just didn't think it was a nice picture. And they're like, yeah, but like, who are you to judge? coming? And it got so awkward. Yeah, that's why you should have just been like, it was a, th- as soon as you make it about someone else, people yeah. have an option of being like, hold mm-hmm. on, what are you trying to say here? If you're just, something my therapist told me, he goes, I've got an issue with used. I say you too much. I should always say I. Because then no mean? one can, uh, like, I should always make I statements rather than you statements. Like, I don't want to do this because you get a little bit aggressive when we do this. Instantly puts the person on the back foot because then it's something. Rather than, I don't want to do this because... I don't like how it makes people right. act. Yeah. You know, then it's just about, no one can argue with that. Yeah. Because it's sense. like, that's your opinion, that's your, fine. But if you put it onto someone else, then they're going to feel insecure and judged and then take it out on you. Mm. 
not to like go into this on this, but like when you and Thingy had that route. Yeah, yeah. The instant you got defensive was when she said that just made me think of that you. was when she put put the the um the reasoning on you. Yeah. Like exactly, you yeah. didn't do this. Like yeah, someone yeah. says about you and then you're like like instantly it makes you like, Yeah, yeah, exactly. But that's that's it. That's why you should always try and stick to eyes. I, I've been I've been trying to be conscious of it the last few weeks because I know it's something I fuck up with. God, I therapy is great. Because I'm so judgmental. See, I hear that. People. I'm like, God, I want therapy, man. It's amazing. It's oh, amazing. amazing. I've had we got three weeks off at the moment. You have three weeks off. Mm, he's away. Yeah. He's away. He doesn't realise I'm is? crumbling. Do you know when David? Do you know when you're like? <laughs> I'm at, back in the day when I was seeing someone, he's like, um, and I'm like, like clinging on to therapy, and he's like, I'm gonna be away for a few weeks. I'm like, that's fine. No, um, I mean, go. Yeah. Okay, have fun. Do I have your phone number in case I have a breakdown? (laughs) (laughs) Jokes. I wonder if they get people who like, when you're a therapist, you go away and they're like ringing you and like. Oh, 100%. God, that'd be so long. Oh, so long. I would never do that. At the end of the day, I know they don't really care, even though David loves me. I think some do care. Oh, no, David loves me. Have I told the story on here about the one who David said to me, I look at you as a friend. He's used those words. And I said, well, you're going to have to stop charging me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what, I, have I told the story about the one I was seeing that she wanted my money? Have I said that on here before? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if you said it on here. Maybe I have or I haven't. I don't want to retell it's got it. A bit, it's going a bit quiet there for a second. No, I was thinking <laughs> I want to retell it. Under the radio silence. But basically I was seeing someone who, um, and I was going on holiday. And I was like, I told her like three weeks in advance. Like, oh, like, I'm going to be missing our session. Like blah 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 blah, and she, she was like oh yeah no worries like da, da. and then i got back for mm. the next week gave her that week's money and she was like oh you owe me for last week and i was like yeah. oh no i wasn't here and she was like oh well that's actually your slot so i need to charge for it and i was like yeah but i told you i told you two weeks in advance like and i got confused yeah and it was were. early in the morning as well for me it was like yeah. eight in the morning so look, my brain's not really Bro, well I'm like, i oh, don't well. know what's going on here but and i, I will genuinely slap wasn't angry in the moment yeah yeah i was just like Later, oh though. uh okay like bit weird like like you want the money for when i wasn't there and she's mm. like yeah because it's your slot da-da. and literally as i left it hit me so i went through the whole session Hold genuinely up. not even like in an awkward way where i was too awkward to yeah, mention yeah, yeah yeah i just genuinely didn't even hit me and as soon as i left i was like that's a bit weird like, yeah it, it is, seemed yeah. we start talking about something else in my head elsewhere and that made me leave it i was like I, I straight away i was just like you just want my money you mm-hmm. don't give a fuck like you and that yeah. ruined the whole thing yeah but that's the end of it, really. Yeah, I said once, well, I can no longer tell once you anything. Because you've always going to have that in the back of your mind with a therapist. So once something confirms that, I think that's yeah. the end of the relationship. And also, like, everyone always said to me before, like, oh, if you if you were to see a counsellor, you should have, like, a relationship with them. Mm. And I always thought that was bullshit. I was like, no, you, sh- you just need, like, a neutral person yeah, to speak yeah. to about no, certain no, things. There needs to be a small relationship. You there. need to have a, yeah. a, like, a relationship. Not in, like, a showy off your way, but, you know, I called David, like, 20 minutes before our session. I was like, sorry, mate, can't make it. And he was like, all right, yeah, sweet. And then didn't ask me for the money really yeah he was just like and then i was like and i was trying to give him the money and he was like no no I why couldn't you make it though what was the reason um i think i got held up at work and then i was like if i make it if i leave now like i'll only make like the last 10 minutes so sorry and then i was like i'll pay you for it i know this is my fault i fucked up then the next week gave him the 140 or whatever and he gave me 70 back he was like don't worry about it and i was like see that's what you want man and the the reason that this is my the why she fucked up because like if she'd have just been like do you yeah, know what exactly. you it's had a holiday part, you obviously right? massively you, but she her argument was which I can I get she was like oh I did mention this when you first started which I don't remember but that does, that's not how any line of business works no it's not but that's what was her argument but if she'd have just said look Suck it. you obviously don't I think it was like fifty quid she was mm. like you obviously don't uh, remember that I can tell that like this is a bit thing I'm gonna let you off. In the future, though, yeah. that's my rule. Yeah. I'd, I'd yeah. have still thought it was a bullshit rule, but I'd have probably carried on seeing her. Yeah, because you would have thought, all right, at least you're being upfront about yep. it and not being like, yeah. And I'd have probably still been seeing her now. This is like six months ago. She'd mm-hmm. have had another six months of business. Yep. So she fucked herself. 100%. What's what I was saying? If I'm a personal trainer and I say to you, oh, you're going on holiday. And then where do you draw the line? Like, I was like, so say I went away for a month. Is it like an indefinite payment? Like... Do I have to end time? And then well, she it's was like, anyway, because there's no contract. So the first things first is, bro, shut up. And if there's no contract, don't ruin the relationship because at the end of the day, you are in the wrong here. Because well, unless there is a contract, then whatever you're saying is void, yeah. really and truly. Well, that's so what why even she bring goes, it up? She goes, you don't actually have to pay because there's no you haven't signed. Well, exactly. Anything. So then why bring it up? Because then it's like you are legitimately kind of in the wrong. Yeah. So don't even bother. 
Yeah. Because you're just going to offend the person and lose more business. But then when I said to her, I was like, look, I didn't even tell her that was why. I was just like, look, I don't, I don't want to see you anymore. And she like messaged me. She was like, oh, why don't you come in for a few more sessions? Usually there's like a period where we like talk about why you want to leave. And I was like, I don't want to pay you to tell you that you've annoyed me. And I don't want to pay you to tell you I'm ready to stop having therapy. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, if I'm ready to stop having it, when you text, I'm not going to lie. Like when I text that, um, that Debbie chick, the last one saying I'm going to stop seeing you. Like, I I feel like I need some time to myself now. Yeah. Why did you stop seeing her? You just wasn't, she just wasn't feeling it. I just wasn't feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. But she was just like, all right, well, let me know if you ever want to come back. Yeah, that's what Wish she you said. Wish you all the luck, innit? Like, but that, that's, it should never be like, come come back. Yeah. You still need, well, to, why still I need to talk about that. This is why I haven't gone Bro, back. you because, don't like, tell me what we need to talk about. I tell you what we need to talk about, correct. first of all. Two things that I haven't gone back. Weirdly, like that this girl was asking about, she was like, oh, I really want to like start seeing like a yeah, someone. Yeah. And then uh, she was like, oh, what did you talk about? And I was like, one of the reasons why I went off it was because I feel like we sort of like run out of things to talk about. And mm. then we started like, there was one session where we spent like, I think it's like an hour session. We spent literally half an hour talking about why, like me going traveling. And yeah. it's like, oh, so where would you go? And I was like, yeah, yeah. This isn't really why I'm here. Yeah. And I, I could go and talk to you about yeah, exa- that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'd respect your opinion more. Mm-hmm. That, like, so it got like a bit like, not like, ra- like I kind of like ran out of issues. Like, yeah. And like a good therapist should sort of like but steer the conversation. Uh, I felt like sometimes it would be like, yeah. it would, the conversation would go flat. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. Well, I then started feeling like, God, I've got to talk about. I started feeling like I had to force a conversation. Mm-hmm. It got like mm-hmm. weird. But well, that's it. With de- that's how I felt it was with the last one. She, if it went quiet, bro, it would just go quiet for ages, and she just wait. She'd just be looking at me, and I'd be thinking like, bro, you got to pull something out of me. I'm not just gonna stop yeah. saying it. Like, but then the other, the, with the, the flip side with David, like, he he just started making jokes. Like it went silent for like, tw- like ten seconds, twenty seconds max. He just went, so you cured, eh? <laughs> we done here. God, Should we go me, get a pizza? Give me David's <laughs> number. He's like a great bro. guy. Go, tra- go check him out, bro. 70 quid an hour. It's not too bad. But I feel like it'd be weird if we saw the same... No, nah, bro, because I've referred someone from the Wenlock to him. Yeah. I don't think he went... I think he had a chat with him on the phone, but I never went there. But, like, he never told me that he rang him or anything. Like, you don't talk about the other person with him. No. Nah. But then again, you come up bare in my therapy. I said it to you before. Yeah, no, people come up in my therapy, but he would never. But they would never talk with the other. Oh, of about course it. not. So yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't be that weird. It wouldn't actually. matter at all. No, it wouldn't matter at all. Just make sure you get uh, the slot before me, and then hang around so you can drive me home. Yeah, I'll just hang around, <laughs> crying in my car. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've had a heavy <laughs> session. You've had a great one. I'm just yeah, like, I come out there chipper. <laughs> the only thing that makes me not go is because, like, I'm sort of like, I'm sort of like good as I am. Mm. so it's like although I do enjoy it because like, even when you said things like oh I should be saying I instead of you like that interests me that's yeah. what I get I find yeah, therapy yeah. interesting more than mm-hmm. actually like needing it badly if that makes sense yeah and I feel like it's not really a reason to go see someone because you find it interesting yeah. or is it I don't know well I mean I don't know personally like the last few times that I've been with him I could almost I almost felt like when I'm like right let's book in next week he's a bit surprised he's like really you seem fine the last few weeks but then again I had this phase of like when I was actually like going for like fucking mental stresses i had this thing where i'd i'd be fine after yeah. like a month of seeing yeah, him yeah, yeah. and then like but it's you good because it keeps think, oh, you up now. it keeps you up though. yeah but it's good what i like about the most is it, it you work on yourself like mm-hmm. things like that where you're like oh i'm now trying to say i like you i it's hard to come to those conclusions by yourself yeah without talking to someone who's actually an expert yeah, on it yeah I, Ma- I used to enjoy that. Just there was an episode that. of Simpsons where Ma- where you find out Marge has been going to therapy for their whole relationship with yeah. Homer. And uh, Homer always says, why are you so moody on like Sundays? But then on Monday, like Monday to Thursday, you're in a great mood. Yeah. And Thursday to Sunday, you're horrible. And she's like, because therapy restarts me on Monday. Yeah. So I can handle you for four days. And then slowly I start hating you again. Then Monday, and we, we refresh. It. And I yeah. always think that's how, that's kind of what therapy, like even if, if, if that, process of up to down is longer like even if i go to a session and i'm up for like three weeks i will eventually come down so it's good to just always just get that booster you know so it's more of a zigzaggy up rather than my guys my dude i was seeing like a when i was like young like 21 was i 21 22 that's not young that's past it (laughs) yeah (laughs) when i was old he said that you shouldn't look at it like uh, because i was saying like oh i wait to come here and this is sort of like my like you say like my uh my boost yeah like, yeah yeah, sort of yeah. Thing. and he was like you should try not to look at it like that because he's like you're not coming here to get like a little kick and then like have a shit week yeah he's like you should just try and look at like because and then he's like and then what happens when you don't get that kick mm-hmm. so he's like you shouldn't try and look at it like that you should just try and just be more like 
pragmatic, I guess, about it and sort of just like actually try to solve issues rather than just yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. it is what it is. Though. Some days you solve issues, other days you boost yourself, other days it's that. Because you know. I would get that. It's like, never the same thing. I remember saying like some, like one session. I remember like I'd be like, oh, I just I felt like this was a bit shit. Like no offense, I felt like we didn't really yeah. achieve anything. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, but you just, you can't really look at it like that. Like, he's not, you're not going to come here in an hour and be like, right, life's amazing. Mm-hmm. I remember him saying that. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, therapy, therapy, therapy. <sighs> cool, we talked about therapy for ages. Huh? Yeah, that was a good therapy chat. Yeah, I don't know. Was that one of my current events? I hope I you can like handle that, Ants. I hope you can handle it. How the fuck did we get onto therapy? I don't know. Whatever. What's the, give us a current event. We got about, I'd say, one more. Pushing out... A good 10 minutes left? 10, 10, 15 maybe. Yeah. Where are you going for your birthday dinner thing? I believe we're going to ZZ. Oh, a little hurting invite. Um, who's going? Z-Z. Mom, Z-Z. Faye. Mom, Mom Dad. Faye, Dad, Faye, Geff, yeah. uh, Lise, uh, Auntie Lisa, and Grandpa. Grandfather. Oh. Grandfather. Nice. Yeah. ZZ's, yeah? ZZ's, yeah. Cheeky Peeps, huh? Uh, I might go for a cheeky calzone. Ooh. Haven't eaten all day. I haven't eaten a thing today. I have had a banana and a double decker. This is why we don't make gains. <laughs> we just go days no while we're we, we go gym once a week yeah, and <laughs> just eat nothing. <laughs> I said, I was talking to someone this the other day. I haven't trained, I probably trained properly for like a year, yeah? Yeah. Made good gains. Like, mm. I think that's not far out to say, like from where uh, I started. Just say what you want to say and stop being like beating around the bush. Well, I want to build the story, bro. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> the fans need to know I'm looking good. Um, I felt, don't feel like that's where it was going. Uh, no, it's not. So, and then <laughs> I had okay, yeah. from like, <laughs> I'd say like November, I haven't trained properly. Because I had my dissertation where I was like fitting in training around that. Then I had like all the uni shit. Then I had Christmas. Then I had New Year's. Then I went on holiday. Then I was ill. Then mm. I went to my grandparents. So I've been training like probably on and off now for like two or three months. Yeah. Of just going like twice a week, three times a week, and then when I'm there, I feel like when you're like working in training around shit, you don't you don't really like you almost like maintain rather than progress. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Like if I was to go to gym now, I was lifting more when we were training like six months ago. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I don't even know if I've got stronger. I've never paid attention to how much I'm lifting. As long as it hurts and it's hard, then that's all I care. That's what your mum says. It's your mum's mouth, as long as it hurts and it's hard. God's sake, that's so vile. So vile. That's really vile. You probably have got str- I wouldn't look, I don't know, like. From I like don't future, think I don't so. Know, I wouldn't say you've got mad strong. I'd say you could probably, like, I'd say, like, more with you, it's like you, you're, you like, you can do it all now. Like, say, well, say at the start where you'd have, like, weird, shitty technique. Yeah, yeah, Now yeah, you yeah, can yeah. just walk in, you do it all good form. Yeah, good form there. Like, yeah. And you probably have got strong. I, I don't really I don't know, know about stronger. stronger. I've definitely got a little bit bigger, but not... Uh, I'd say I was bigger when me and you went hard at all time. At oh, any yeah, time, you were, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I feel like you're getting back to that now. Not really, because I haven't been doing like four weeks. Yeah. Well, I've, I'm very but you're, you're like, and me, we are, and James, all the same. We're not those guys, you could go gym for like a year straight now, mm-hmm. diet amazing, and me. We'd still wear these jumpers and you wouldn't be like, right, he's wet. Yeah. You could take yeah. your shirt off and be like, oh, shit. But that's kind of like a nice thing. Like, I've had it with like someone where I've took my shirt off and they're like, oh, shit, like, do you go gym? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they don't actually know because mm-hmm. you just look mm-hmm. like a normal dude. That happened to me. <laughs> we look like a normal guy, girls, <laughs> until we take until it off. Until we take it. I was at work the other day, though, and I took off my jumper and they just flashed my abs, yeah? And someone Purposely. Went, oh, someone was like, I can't get my head What's out? going on down there? Yeah. And I was like, what? And they were like, no one told me you were Wolverine. I was yeah. Like, God, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hugh. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, stop it. Seriously. But it's, that's nice though, isn't it? Like, you're like, that's... And then, it's and like then we were also up. talking about what to do for the work to do. And everyone was like, let's do this, let's do this. And I heard about this, um, someone mentioned this um, tugboat, this jacuzzi oh. tugboat that goes down the, the canal. And I, and I just wouldn't stop banging on about this. I was like, we got to do the jacuzzi tugboat. Got to do. And everyone was like, what is it with you? And this, like, it was a fleeting like idea. Why do you want to do this so bad? Like, no one else wants to see everyone naked or like with their shirts off. And I went, I certainly don't want to see you all with your shirts off, but I know you want to see me with my shirt <laughs> off. <laughs> because your drawers will drop. I used to get it more when I was like training like back. And then the drawers. Back in the day like, when I was like working at Lil's and shit, I remember it'd be like, We'd be like gardening and it'd be like kind of warm and everyone would be on the edge and I'd always be like go with my shirt off and then someone would make a comment. I'd be like, that's right. And then I, was, I remember thinking like, you've got to chill with this. Like, yeah, I know. Because then I'd be getting stage where, be, where like, I'd be working with people and if they didn't make a comment, I'd be like, I know you want to make a comment. Just, and they just tell me. Didn't. Just tell me. Yeah, so just tell me you're admiring. Mindset. Just make a comment on yeah, the physique. Gotta, 
Yeah. I do sometimes still get it. Like I go and says like to get like a pizza and I've got my shirt off and they always ring the other bell. Mm. So sometimes like they'll come out and they'll be like, oh, hi, and I'm like, oh, you're all right. Like I'm just like, God, say it, say it, say it, make a comment, say it now, acknowledge me, <laughs> God. confirm my existence. I am going to train today. Oh yeah. yeah. I might, when I come back from dinner, uh, me and my dad are going to make a track. Train. You won't want to train. Well, it depends. After a cow zone. Oh, but then, mind you, you can do that, and like, you have your big-ass breakfast and then come train. Yeah. Oh, mate, yeah. The other day, I had a great training after, like, five hash browns, three sausages. So I can do that. If I eat a nice things. fat meal, I can wait two hours and then get a good No, training. I'm straight in. I can't be straight in. But my metabolism just burns it all instantly. Yeah. It's all like... Brrr. It goes through you. It's like, oh, my God. Oh, I need a shit. We might not <laughs> eat again for another day. <laughs> See, I'm like that. Once I eat, I can just shit, like, within 10 minutes. Mm, no, I'll hold on to that shit. I could go, like, eight days without shit. Really? There used to be this guy I knew. And then my breath starts stinking of poo. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, really? <laughs> I just thought it was funny. <laughs> Do you know what this reminds me of? Where Cartman says he can shout out his mouth. I'm like, no, you can't, asshole. And then he does it. <laughs> <He's> like, uh, <laughs> uh. Yeah, I, I remember... Oh, mic issues. I remember uh, I remember this guy who was like, seeing this girl. It was uh, James's brother. And he was seeing this girl for like years, but she had this thing where she couldn't poo in front of people. Mm. Like not yeah, in front of people, just at the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. So she'd be there for like four days and just wouldn't go to the <laughs> toilet. I was like, Jesus. Apparently man. bear chicks do that. See, I've had it when I first start, like your first with a girl, you need to bust a shit and you can't. So you hold it in for like a day. Yeah. Or like a, like a, oh, that's the worst. Man. I feel like most of the time, if I distract myself for like 20 minutes, that poo's gone. Oh, yeah. yeah. Same. <laughs> It's not like a pee though. Like on the cab on Saturday, how much did I have to go pee? Like I had to go. Like well, I that need to funny. stop. Yeah. But you cannot hold in a pee. Poor self-controlled. No, nah, man. Once that seal pops. No, nah, it's poor. Yeah, you can hold in more. Yeah. See, in some regards, you can just suck it up. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like physical ailments. Oh, yeah. You're better at it than me. Yeah, because, I, because it's mind over matter. Yeah, but you're better at physical than mind. So you're because I like, also enjoy the pain. But you're like more like it's physical over matter than mind over matter. No, other way around. Mind over matter. Like just because I need a shit, don't mean I'm gonna have it. it my mind saying, is like, my mind is stronger. It will say no. You won't have the poo. Yeah, but do you see what I'm trying to say? Yeah, but it's wrong. <laughs> 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 I feel like you think that a lot in life. <laughs> like, so you're like, yes, but you're wrong. Yeah, no, I'm people, right. People are always like, don't don't you understand what I'm trying to say? No, I do get it. You're a <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 I get it, but... No, no, I fully understand you. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing to understand. <laughs> God, I'm a cunt. Yeah, um, you want to close us off? Yeah, man. Cl- wrap us it up. T- wrap it, man. I enjoyed our therapy talk. That was my favorite uh, well, It was. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Can you that. wear your fat Homer shirt? <laughs> Where is what, it? to dinner? Can you just there will you put it on just for like a minute? What, while we're doing this? No, afterwards. <laughs> I want to take a picture of you in fat yeah, Homer. I was okay, telling I'll my do brother that for you. I'll do that for fat you. Homer. Yeah. Yeah, man. Good potty. Good, good stuff, guys. Ants, we'll try and keep you updated I'm gonna go sooner than rather than later. I'm going to up now. Mm-mm. Maybe I shouldn't train. Honestly, do it. Just do it. Honestly, mind over matter. No, no, just don't worry Nothing's me. real, bro. It really is real when I'm coughing my Nothing is real. Nothing is real. And I can't sleep. Bro, if I could just put a little augs cable into your belly button I'd rewire your code well can you then <laughs> no because I'm not black man, no because augs cables do not do that <laughs> god damn it they're for music <laughs> uh yeah it's a wrap alright guys keep it real keep it breezy keep it light go suck a dick go get some therapy go suck a dick what? My mum listens to this shit. Oh, s- Rachel, stop listening. It's horrible. It's <laughs> horrible <laughs> material. We're losing a listener. <laughs> Rachel, seriously, this is not a place for a cultured young lady like yourself. Peace, mum. Keep listening. We need, <laughs> we keep listening. We need the views. Peace. Peace.